Nerd Reactor, roll out. Hi, Stephanie. How's it going? Good. How are you? Uh, good, good. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're feeling great now with the uh, movie opening in wider release this weekend and uh, the, the hype. Like I've been hearing a lot from people. Like there's people excited about it. And so how are you feeling with just uh, just like the reception so far? It's pretty crazy, I have to say. I mean, I love this movie so much. And I was, even when I saw the final cut um, before South by, I was feeling really shy about how much I love it because I was like, oh no, what if people don't get it? What if, you know, I knew that some people would definitely get it, but then I was worried that it would, be confusing to people or people yeah just wouldn't respond to it and it has been the exact opposite which is to say people are like this is the best movie I've ever seen you know it's crazy <laughs> and I feel relief honestly I feel relief and an immense amount of joy to get to now like fully ride this wave and celebrate this movie um, as much as we love it and get to share it with as many people um, I just feel like it's such a collective moment of celebrating art and that feels so cool to be a part of. Yeah. And what was the process like when you started this? Um, I guess, was there like a, a method or like, let's say like during the auditioning process to the actual day on the set, because your character it's a multiverse and you have to like bring in all these different personalities together. Uh, so I was wondering what the challenge was. I think the biggest challenge was making sure that all the sort of chaos and the wildness and the craziness was still grounded in a very rooted place and never letting go of that thread. Um, the Daniels and I had a lot of conversations around nihilism and just this, what it means if nothing matters. And we definitely really enjoyed talking about the philosophy of it. So I think that was very much in the sort of soup of the characters and my way in. Um, but also I, I usually enter through the body. And so that was like the, the physicality is a, is a helpful way for me to start to understand the parameters of characters. And it, of course, Joy is very downtrodden and has so much despair and that really sinks into one body. And then Jobu on the other hand is, can be a worm or a squirrel or, <laughs> or an Elvis, you know? So it was getting to play with like, everything and being like play-doh almost or or goo yeah um yeah do you think it was harder trying to uh, play more of like the uh like joy or the uh or the the play-doh part i think you know again i both were both were equally difficult i would say um, because they're actually also still kind of in a weird way, the same character. And that's the weird thing about Joy and Jobu is they're different, but they're, as you kind of see towards the end, is that they're actually still the same core of a mm -hmm. person or spirit. Yeah. And I think it was like swimming through that and making sure that the goo <laughs> never left the core <laughs> yeah. uh, was, was the main focus. And I know like the, the concept of this film is pretty out there. It's wacky. And for you reading the script, like, did you, were you like in, in it like right away? Like, yeah, this is something I want to do. Or did you have to like reread it again? It's like, let's see where this goes. I was in it right away. Yeah. This is so up my alley of things that I love. I grew up like watching crazy comedies with Jim Carrey, but also then loved Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. And also was a daughter to an immigrant, you know? And so this kind of touched upon all these very resonant themes in my own, uh, in my own life. And um, the fact that it was on the page just in one script, I was like, this is crazy. I feel like it's made for me in some yeah. way. Um, and yeah, I do think that the, that the script has a really, 
vibrant soul and it sort of found us through the chaos, through the noise. We somehow all landed together to tell this story and it really feels like it couldn't have been anyone else. Oh yeah. And you get to like your, the characters, your family members, your mother, father, grandfather played by uh, Michelle Yeoh, Key, and James Hong, respectively. So what was that like acting opposite them? We really felt like a family right away. And that sounds so cliche to say, but it really is true, right? You know, chemistry is not something that you can create. It's something that's sometimes either there or not. And we really just fell right into the family dynamic very quickly, meaning that we love each other. And we have everyone is also very silly in this family and by this family I mean the James Michelle Key Stephanie family (laughs) and Jamie (laughs) yeah and we just had so much fun with each other and they really all of them really inspired me to just like have fun we had so Mm -hmm. much fun and surrendered to the process everybody worked their asses off but also just loved to celebrate with one another and I think that's a huge part of anything this huge, right? Like any story this complicated is you have to always come back to play and a sense of lightness so that it doesn't become alienating to anyone. Mm -hmm. And in this movie with the different characters, you also get different outfits and makeup. And did you get to have any input on the ideas for that? And you have, if you have a particular favorite to wear? Shirley Carrada is our costume designer. And I have to say, I, most of all of it comes from her very beautiful, artistic, wild mind. Um, but one of my favorite stories or and what is like kind of quintessential to the collaborative process, there was a day where we had a little bit of extra time and I was in a Alpha Joy outfit and um, my shoelaces no one saw my shoelaces but my shoelaces were made out of like internet cables and (laughs) i went into shirley's office and i saw that she had more internet cables on her desk and i said shirley can i make these earrings out of internet cables i took like a hoop earring and i wanted to thread the internet cable around the hoop earring she was like i love that idea that's so weird So we just did arts and crafts in her office and (laughs) they make a tiny little cameo. But um, what I love about that story is it just goes to show like all of us were really choosing to make this project together and really collaborating and saying yes to people's ideas. And that I think is what makes it so special. Oh yeah. So that's like another reason to rewatch the movie again, to notice like the little details. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And uh, I guess like for uh, watch, watching it again with like the audiences, was there like a particular moment where you're like, oh, I can't wait for them to see this scene? I got to watch it with a real, like a regular audience um, in DC on IMAX. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, because I had before I watched the LA premiere and um, at South by Southwest, which are also regular audiences, but it's not like going to a, a movie theater, you know, um, and total strangers, right? Yeah. And I always love hearing how people respond to the rock scene. Um, <laughs> yes. It's such a beautiful moment, not only in the film, but then to be in a room full of strangers who just go completely quiet because they're so engaged with the nothingness that is happening in front of them that they are silently reading. And then to hear them laugh at the same time while there's like nothing, no one's speaking. That is just such a cool, cool moment to be in a movie theater experiencing with strangers. 